I've got no picture. <laughs> Where has happened to my picture? Okay, just bear with me. I'm trying to get my camera on. I've been... I know what it is. I, I'm on the wrong... Let me try this one. No. Okay. <laughs> help me, Lord. Help me. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to you without the camera today. Uh, I don't know what's gone wrong with the camera. I was doing some work on... Let me just start with a prayer. Let me just open it up with a prayer. And... Um, I'm going to re just return this. Just stick with me. Uh, overlay. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I found a vanishing point. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, I'm going to talk without the camera for now. And if I can bring it on, I'll try my best. Um, I'm running rather late today. I uh, had a good rest this afternoon, and wow, did I sleep deep. Uh, let's go over to your comments. Um, now, that is frustrating me. Why can't I get that? Just just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Uh, back to live mode. Just wondering why my camera's not working. Um Ding, ding, ding. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, no, I'll have to stick to, I'll have to stick with the, with the blank screen. I apologize for that. Uh, Joe Costello, first, first one on. Uh, good day to you. Um, blessings from Pennsylvania. Blessings to you, Joe. Um, let me just see. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Just bear with me. Bear with me. There you go. There you go. I pressed the wrong button. I had. I was on. I have this little switch box that switches the camera from one to the other, and I couldn't figure out why that wasn't working. But and then I have another screen here that tells me what camera I'm on, and I was on media player for some reason. Um, let me start again. <laughs> let me start again. I want to just open in prayer with a prayer that I found. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know whether I can get it up, but just if I can get it, show you this, but just bear with me. Um, okay, just stick with me a tick. There you go. Uh, it's not very good, but it's not new every morning. It's taken from Romans 11. Just stick with me. Okay, it's not very, very uh, wide, but... Let's just pray this prayer together. Father God, how great are your riches, O oh, oh God. How deep your wisdom and knowledge. Who can explain your decisions? Who can understand your ways? For all things were created for you. And all things exist through you. And for you. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory forever and ever. Just excuse me. I'm just trying to support my, my arm here. Um, thanks, by the way, <clears throat> thanks, by the way, for your prayers. Um, believe in God for complete healing on this um, tennis elbow, frozen elbow, whatever it is, in the name of Yeshua. Uh, Joe Costello, good, uh, good day to you, Joe, from Pennsylvania. Uh, Margie Hogg, uh, good morning to you, Margie, from Oklahoma. Uh, Emma Harvey, good evening, everyone. Good evening to you in Scotland, Emma. Uh, in the Highlands of Scotland. Um, Madeline Kirby from Florida. Clearwater, I think it is, Madeline, isn't it? Clearwater. Um, good evening to you. No, no, good mo Good no. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you, Madeline. Uh, Linda Everlane from um, Indiana. 
Did I get that right, Linda? Um, good noon from a cloudy, cold, yeah, Indiana, where it snowed. Wow. <laughs> you got snow already. And uh, where it snowed overnight. Oh, my. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, oh. I feel for you. I feel for you. Uh, Douglas Verran, a uh, good noon hour from Bramford, Ontario, Canada. Blessings and thanks to the Lord. Isn't it good to offer up praise, and especially as a corporate body, just to glorify him? And our opening prayer there was taken from Romans 11. Uh, how great are your riches, O God? How great, uh, how deep is your wisdom? Wow, wow. And knowledge. Who can explain your decisions or your ways, Lord? Who can understand your ways? Isn't that a wonderful prayer from Romans 11? Uh, I'm getting sidetracked there. Kimo, good evening, good day. That started with prayer group. It's good to start with prayer. It's good to soak in prayer, Kimo. Uh, what's that scripture say? Praying always with thanksgiving and making your requests known to him. Um, Gail Ann, Florida, good noon from Florida, many blessings on you all, isn't that wonderful, just receive that church, just receive, as people send their blessings, don't just use it as a, as a catchphrase, or think of it as a catchphrase, just receive it right now, as Gail has said, many blessings, we just take that Lord, we take every blessing that's proclaimed, here on the airwaves to each other, we take it unto ourselves. <laughs> um, Diana Evelyn Clark, good afternoon, John and Worldwide Mystic Walkers from Barrie, Ontario. Good noon to you, um, uh, Diana. <laughs> Sorry, Diane. Um, Barbara Simmons, we found a vanishing point. We can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, what's that tune? Always look on the bright side of life. La la, la 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 la. <laughs> uh, you found a vanishing point, yeah. Uh, Anamanda, uh, good evening from Coventry. Now, Anna, you're confusing me. There's two Maunders, isn't there? There's a mother and a daughter, I think. Uh, is this the Anna from Cumbria, though? Uh, <laughs> Mary Costello. Hello from Lancaster County. Wow. Listening while painting the powder room. Now, what is the powder room, Mary? Is that the washroom? Is that the toilet that we say over here? Is that the ladies? Uh, <laughs> so many expressions. For the powder room. Uh, Douglas um, Douglas Ferron isn't being vulnerable great. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't know about that, Doug. But I, I yeah, I embrace it because it wasn't that what we sh shared the other morning. Embrace vulnerability. Embrace it. Don't fight it, just embrace it. Uh let's see, Helen, Helen uh, Butler from France, south of France. Bonjour, everyone. Bonjour to you, Helen. Uh, Judith Boone. Greetings, everyone, from a very cool Kansas City. Wow. Um, let me see. Uh, Barbara, the voice of John Scotland, coming to you from the eternal now. <laughs> That's just so funny. You're so funny, Barbara. Um, Susan Simpson, good evening from Bolton, Cumbria. Good evening to you. Uh, and now you can actually see me. See how the comments are delayed. Barbara Pugh, congratulations. We can see I just got back from the vanishing point, Barbara. You know, I had difficulty getting back. You know, once I crossed over that vanishing point, when I went beyond the vanishing point, I had great difficulty getting back. <laughs> um Linda Evelyn, yay, there you are, in all his glory. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Debbie Beck, evening. Good evening, Deb. Did you finish the painting for um, James's mum? She just, Debbie just can't keep still. She's got to be doing something. She has to have a project. Uh, Christopher, 
uh, blessings on you, John. So happy for your medical report and praying for her time. My sister just got here, so I got to go. Blessings to you, Christopher. Blessings. Thank you. Um, Margie, after dealing with pain in my arm for a long time, I finally quit doing the things. Of course, I know, but I know. <laughs> Margie, <laughs> tell me about it. Tell me about it. But isn't it hard? Isn't it difficult? You know what I mean? I've got, you know, I've got a thousand and one things I've got to do and I can't do. I, do. I just, I just have to, I just have to embrace it. I just have to embrace it. Okay, <laughs> that's a, that's the word of the day. That's the word of the day, Mar Margie. Uh, for a long time, <laughs> I finally quit doing the things that caused it. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Help us! Help us, Lord! Help us! Uh, Doug, uh, our resident weather forecast man, is telling us that there is snow. There is no snow yet in southern Ontario, but central Ontario is rumored to have had some. Wow! Wow! <laughs> where'd you get where'd you get this information from, Doug? You, you know where'd you get it from? <laughs> uh, Mary Costello. Linda Evelyn, I saw that and was wondering about you. Oh, the forecast, yeah, the weather forecast, yeah. Linda Evelyn, forecast, however, is for temperatures back up in the 70s over the weekend. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I wish it was over the 70s here, uh, Linda. It's mid-60s here. And uh, although the sun's shining, it doesn't have its strength in October. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Emma, Emma you, you just remind me of a drunk that goes round the bars drinking all the leftovers there. <laughs> I received the blessings, yeah, that's good. Uh, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a, um, uh, a judgment. <laughs> it's a blessing, Emma. When I was first drunk, that was one of the secrets I learned, you know, Drink the overflow from others. Drink of the overflow from other people as they're receiving. Amen. Okay, yes, that's a half bath. Uh, I think that we call that a closet. Uh, <laughs> Mary, I think we call that a closet. Uh, and Amanda, that's right, John. There are two of us. Yes, yes, to confuse me, Anna. Esther, mom, lives in Cumbria and me... In Coventry, there you go, there you go. I I thought so. Uh, oh boy, Debbie, <laughs> you did the haul and lounge. Wow, yeah. Anna Monda says you're a girl after my own heart. I'm the same as you. Oh, Emma Harvey, Debbie Beck. I hate painting. Oh, oh. Let me see, Deb, where else can we paint? Well, there's the bedroom to start with. There's the hall and landing. Uh, where else have we got to do? There's the bathrooms for James to tile. Uh, he wants to practice, you see. He's just done a course. Her husband's just done a course on tiling, and uh, he wants to practice. Okay, uh, I think that's it. I think we've gone through all the ding-dongs and the boings and the haze and the hose. So, um Let's go to the reading, shall we? Um, and to do that, I have to press a button. Do I have everything here now? Let me see. Where are my buttons going? Where? Oh, where? Oh, where have the buttons gone? Okay. Just oh, stick with me. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? I'm going over to number two. There you go. No, I'm not going over to number two. I'm going. And number four is not connected either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, just hang on. Hang on, church. Just bear with me. I'm only using one arm, and it is very difficult to ding-dong, boing, hey, you know, and get everything together. Got to move this over. Uh, and it should come up in a minute. Uh, let me see. Just hang in. Hang in. We're over the vanishing. There we go. We're back. We're back. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yes. Yes, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. oh God, help us. Help us, Lord, help us. 
Okay. The reading is taken from Song of Songs, chapter 4, verse 4. I see your inner strength uh, so stately and strong. You are as secure as David's fortress. Your virtues and grace cause a thousand famous soldiers to surrender to your beauty. We read this this morning. Um, But let me read it again. Your virtues and grace. Do you see the effects of grace there? And the effect of virtue would cause your enemies, even famous ones, even strong enemies, uh, to surrender to your beauty. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a ding dong? Okay, let's do the reading. This is one that you really need to let to soak in. You've got to really just ponder it. You know, like when you go to the, uh, um, you go and have a look at the paintings in the galleries. Sometimes you've just got to sit on that bench in front of the painting and just meditate on it. God is for you. That's the very first line. Always. Let me say that again, because I feel somebody may out there maybe needs this. God is for you always. His love knows no bounds. He is good and kind. Just dwell on that for a moment. Just dwell on it. He's for you always. His love knows no bounds. He is good and kind Though you may face temporary setbacks or disappointments, listen, listen, here's the promise. He will turn things around and work. Now, this is what I love about him. This is what I love about him. In in unexpected ways that prove his faithfulness and strengthens your faith. Oh, Oh, that's so rich. That is so rich. Let me read this again to you. Because it's so, I feel like somebody's just given me a check for $50,000. It reminds me of when I used to fundraise in Bethesda and get these checks coming in. And I'd have to read it again. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Though you may face temporary setbacks or disappointments, he will turn things around and work in unexpected ways that provide or that prove his faithfulness and strengthens your faith. After time, you learn that trusting and praising him in the midst of pain is your greatest weapon against fear. Ooh, I'll have to take that myself. There you go. Ooh, ooh, ding dong, boing, hey and ho. After time, you learn that trusting and praising him in the midst of pain is your greatest weapon against fear. No matter what happens, you know he will never fail you. This type of boldness reveals not only a strong person, but also a humble one. There's that letter bait again, the two sides to the coin, you know, boldness and humility. We often think of a humble person being timid, but no, that's a counterfeit of humility. This type of boldness reveals not only a strong person, but also a humble one submitted to the will of God. You become resolute, determined to do the right thing with no double-mindedness. Like David, you have a heart after God. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a wonderful reading? David's tower was a place where the weapons of warfare were stored. Your decisions to follow the king, your inward life and confidence in him, 
is like a storehouse of mighty weapons that you wield against the enemy. Oh, oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. Just receive that right now. Receive it right now. Let's pray this prayer together. Father, I release all my cares to you today. I release them, Lord, right now. Just release them right now. All your cares. All the things that come into your mind of what if this happens? What if that? How can I do this? How can I do that? Just release them right now. I say no to fear and plant my feet firmly upon your word, your promises, your covenant. I choose. I choose. Come on, let's choose it. I choose to trust you despite every swirling thought in you. I am safe. Isn't that wonderful? In you, I am safe. Oh, isn't God good? Isn't he? Ding dong, boing, a and a ho. Isn't that a wonderful reading for tonight? And you know what? I'm. Uh, let me just a quick, have a quick look. We've got a few minutes. Let me just have a quick look uh, and just see. Somebody else made a comment here. Um, uh, Emma Harvey hates painting yes <laughs> yeah yeah it is a way of releasing actually debbie it's a creative thing you're creating something and we were made in the image of god to create we were made to create so that's why you often feel fulfilled when you do something or you do a project and you get it fulfilled um yeah it is an incredible word emma an incredible word uh, Debbie, it makes you dig your roots deep in him. Kimmel talks about the Tower of David, built with stones and covered by shields. It is strong. Let me put that one up there, Kimmel. There you go. Uh, people that are, maybe, there you go. Have I got that up right? Yeah. Talks about the Tower of David, built with stones and covered by shields. That's that semek, that letter semek. That encircles you. It's not just one shield. You know, it's it covers you, covers your sides, your back. In Jesus' name, amen. This blows your natural mind, uh, Barbara. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Uh, amen, amen. Uh, tama, tamara. So needed. Thanks for the reading. Mary Costello, Emma Harvey, for me, it's instant gratification. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's it. Uh, just a simple reading today. But it's not simple, is it? It's so deep. So deep. Remember, remember, greater is he within you than he that is in the world. The Lord bless you keep you, cause his wonderful face to shine upon you. And Lord willing, see those of you that can't sleep tomorrow morning, UK time at 8 a.m. God bless everybody. God bless. Now, where am I? La, la, la.